When I was 18, I moved to Portland, Oregon, where I played junior hockey until I was 20. And then after that, I moved to Boston. I played one year uh, Division three college hockey for the University of Massachusetts, and then transferred out, and now I'm here. When I was an undergrad, I started a club hockey team at Brown. I played for the Junior B Hurricanes out of Rockwood, Florida, which is part of the Metropolitan Junior Hockey League. I'm actually a freshman, but um, I'm 20, so I played the last two years in Canada playing ice hockey. It's a pretty good way to go out. Uh, my last game I played in front of 10,000 people, so it's kind of, even though we lost, it was still a nice way to, to end it. The experience of playing roller hockey last year here at the university was something different. Well, I always played ice. I played roller until I was about 10 and then I haven't played since. So when I came here, I stopped playing ice hockey and realized they had rollers, so I played that. We uh, ended up going to nationals. Uh, we didn't do well in the regional tournament, but we got a bid to nationals. The team came together and we went eight straight and then won a championship. It was a great time. I mean, it was actually more serious than I thought. And it was hard work, definitely, to get there. <laughs> Moving into the ice hockey team was Definitely a decision made by probably about eight of the roller hockey players, including myself. I mean, originally when I came down here, I tried to start the ice team. I wasn't able to. And then last year, I was talking to everybody, and they won the ice team. So we tried doing both in the beginning of the year, and then uh, there was clear demand for a, an ice hockey team. So this year, I went ahead and set it up at Canes Fest, and every kid that came up, all they wanted was ice. And so uh, everybody that played on the roller team basically played ice as well, and uh, just evolved from there. We all come from ice hockey backgrounds, not a roller hockey background. So once we got the okay from the school to go ahead and do it and permission from our league, it was within minutes that we just had an all ice hockey team, no roller hockey team. Hockey's an expensive sport. It takes a lot of money to buy refs, buy ring time. You know, it's, it's, it's a passion sport. For now, we're in the process of uh, ordering jerseys. It's kind of taken a little bit longer than we thought. Well, it took us about two, three months to get the funding for the jerseys, so we were stuck with that. And then once we got the funding, it takes another four to five weeks to get them. Started working with a Nike Bauer rep from um, a dealer up in Ontario, Canada. And a lot of administration officials, they, they see the price tag and they just kind of run away because it's, it's so expensive. Uh, you wanted some evidence that it's going to be successful and give a good name to the university. I think the roller hockey team was able to prove that for them. And since we needed 16 games, we ended up getting just screen printed regular jerseys that one of our players actually funded, which was great. But uh, in the long run, we should have nice RBK jerseys. But for now, the screen print works fine.
Um, we play at Kendall Ice Arena. It's about 10, 15 minutes from campus. Um, it's a pretty big venue. It's nice. They treat us well. And uh, it's a good atmosphere for the fans. Hockey is such a fast-paced sport. You're out there skating your ass off all the time. And you just you work hard. And the, every time you score, every time your team wins, that's it's the best feeling in the world. You can't, you can't replicate it. Practice for them, that's their time to work on game situations, you know, um, basically working on flow drills, um, power, working on their power plays, working on penalty kills, working on just basic game situations. Real high-paced, high um, lacks energy, really physical. Um, 90 minutes, we usually get on early and stay late. Uh, just a hard-working team. Twice a week the guys meet out with me in the IM field every Mondays and Thursdays and that's when we work on strength and, strength and conditioning. I got pretty sore from for the first time, but uh, yeah, it's good. It keeps you in shape and gives you something to do. And, uh, all we have is a field and a pull-up bar and uh, with my knowledge I get creative and I, I uh, do my best to you know, get these guys faster and stronger through that way. Well, this season, since it's a probationary year, we can only have to get 16 games in. We're not eligible for the postseason, unfortunately. So hopefully we can just go 16-0 and and get our name out there for next year. Great win. Good win today. I mean, 3-0 with wins of 22-1, 13-2, and 7-1. Let me scrimmage. Another team was 4 nothing. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of excitement around campus, um, around the hockey team. We're getting more and more fans every game. And so it's really just up to us to make a statement and prove who we are and then everyone, everything else will follow. I just want to win every game. I think uh, that's the greatest feeling is coming away with a victory. And, and hope that everyone on the team can kind of bond, have a great team spirit, team unity, and uh, represent the U. I've only been in South Florida for about four years, but I've been really impressed with the quality of the hockey down here. I didn't, I didn't think much of it when I, you know, I grew up in New Hampshire. I played hockey in New England for prep schools up there, and I didn't really think much of South Florida hockey. But uh, I've been really impressed so far with the coaching and the quality of the players. It's very physical. It's fast-paced. It's exciting. I know if you watch it on TV, you might not think that, but you just need to come out to the and experience it. You won't be disappointed. I think really it's just be a fun team to watch. Uh, winning definitely helps. And I think if we get a reputation as just a gritty, hard-nosed team, then everything else will, the reputation will take care of itself. It's great, everybody's hyped up. I mean, all our players are basically from the north, so it's pretty cool and surprisingly we're really good. I mean, I played pretty good hockey and this is about as good as that, so it's awesome. It's gonna grow, believe me. I'm, I'm one of them who grew up playing in, in Miami since uh, 1995, and I can tell you from then till now, it's growing even more. I came here for academics, and uh, I was su presently surprised that every, there's a lot of talent down here that um, we're actually a pretty good hockey team. It'd be nice to see an NCAA sport here. Ice hockey, I mean, we got the buck right there. It'd be a nice place to pack the fans for an ice hockey game. <laughs> Hockey means everything. It's the funnest sport on the world. Hockey's my life. Competitiveness, <laughs> physicality, and uh, scoring, obviously. I love the uh, fast pace and hard hitting of the game. Man, it's a chance to have fun. Just get out there and play. Team sport. Nothing better.